Hi, everyone. Welcome to this one's dedicated to my name is Chris Barton. And I'm Jennifer Ziegler, and we both write books for young people. And we love speaking with other creators of books for young people, particularly about the dedications in their books. That's what this one's dedicated to is all about. Today, we are joined by Rebecca E. Hurst to discuss the, the dedication she wrote in her book, Night Creatures, Animals That Swoop, Crawl and Creep While You Sleep. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Hi, Chris. Hi, Jenny. I'm great. It's great to be here. We're so glad you can join us. Yes, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to talk about your beautiful, beautiful book. Um, would you mind kicking us off by reading aloud the dedication? So uh, the dedication for this book is on the very last page, and it says, For Robin, Rabbit, and Raccoon, My Nighttime Explorers, R-E-H. Love that. I, I find it very intriguing, and I think young readers will, too. Um, can you explain who Robin, Rabbit, and Raccoon are and why this book is dedicated to them? Sure. So I'll give you a little bit of backstory. Um, Robin, Rabbit, and Raccoon are my three children. That's not their real names. Um, <laughs> this book came about, um, my children attended a nature camp. I live in Pennsylvania, and it's here in the mountains of Pennsylvania. This nature camp is here where we live. Um, and they they attended this camp. It's It's a wonderful camp for kids. It's for kids like preschoolers through about age 10 or 11, and they go for a week. Uh, it's a day camp. So they get dropped off in the morning and picked up in the afternoon. But the last night, and there's, it goes all summer. So there's different groups of kids all summer long. The last night of camp, so Friday night, is really special. Um, parents uh, have the option to spend the night with their campers. So if you wanna spend the night, you bring a tent and you put it up on the lawn. Uh, and then there is a campfire with, uh, there's ice cream, there's a campfire with singing and skits uh, and games. And then the camp counselors lead night walks into mm. the forest. And it was on a night walk that I went as a parent that this idea for this book uh, was born. I was like, this is amazing. If you've never done a night walk into the forest, it's, I highly recommend it. It will just blow your mind because you're, you can kind of see a little bit because your night vision kicks in and we didn't use any flashlights. Um, but you're mostly relying, you're feeling the path with your feet. You're going very slowly. You're listening to the animals. You're, you're calling, trying to call owls and see if they'll call back. Uh, it's really, it's really special. So I had this idea to do a book about night animals and that sort of drama that unfolds every night that we mostly sleep through, um, that these animals coming out and the world being transformed. Um, but, you know, as it happens, I, I didn't write the book right away. I, it just was an idea in my head. I put it away and, um, and life was going on and my kids grew up and they aged out of being campers. And um, once they were in high school, they were all um, became what are called leaders in training at the camp or LITs. And these are high school students. It's a volunteer position. They go for a week and they're, they're, they're helping the camp counselors. Uh, wonderful, wonderful experience. It was one of their favorite things, uh, favorite parts of summer all through high school. And when you work at the camp, you choose a nature name. So you do not go by your regular name. Wow. Everybody who works at the camp has a, a name that comes from nature, hopefully something here in Pennsylvania. So you might have someone whose name is River and another person whose name is Oak uh, or uh, Mud and so or Rattlesnake. And it becomes a really fun part of camp for the campers because they're trying to guess the little, the really little ones just accept the nature name and they say, oh, okay, your name is Rattlesnake. Okay. But then as they get older, they're really trying to figure it out. And they're, they're really asking all week, is your, is, your, is that really your name? And, <laughs> and they, you know, the counselors and the LITs really keep it up. Um, and so it becomes a very special part of camp. So when I did finally write this book, all my kids had been, all three of my kids had been LITs. 
their nature names were Robin, Rabbit, and Raccoon. And I knew that that was who I was going to dedicate the book to. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> was, was the alliteration in their, their camp names, was that their doing? Or did you coordinate that with your, with your name as an author? It was their doing. So the first one chose hers. And then when her sister came along, she chose one very similar. And the same with the third sister. So, yeah, that was totally their doing. I had nothing to do with it. 